December 2024. Two strange new aircraft slip into the sky over China. Social media goes crazy. Analysts rush to react. Beijing proudly shows off what it wants. The world to believe is the future of air. Combat. But here's what almost nobody outside the Pentagon knows. Everyone is staring at China's J-36 and J-50 prototypes doing their first public flights. The United States Air Force has already been flying something far more advanced, in total secrecy. Since 2020, the Boeing F-47 and the gap between them, it's not close at all. The next generation of air dominance isn't coming someday. It's already airborne. And China is the one trying to catch up. March 2025 is when everything in public finally shifted. The Pentagon announced a decision that hit Beijing like a shockwave. Boeing had won the contract for America's sixth-generation fighter. The F-47 went from black program rumor to official reality. Overnight, those dramatic clips of Chinese prototypes over Chengdu didn't look quite so intimidating anymore, and if you still think sixth fighter just means a slightly faster jet, with a bit more stealth, type YES in the comments speak. what's really happening is way bigger than that and will completely change how wars are fought. Let's strip away the hype and look at the hard facts. China wants the world to believe they're ahead. Those December test flights weren't some random schedule, they were staged, timed, and choreographed to dominate the news cycle. And it worked. Headlines asked if America had lost its edge, but almost every one of those takes ignored the most important detail. The F-47 has already been flying for five years. Back in September 2020, the Air Force quietly revealed that they had already designed, built, and flown a full-scale demonstrator, not a 3D render, not a a real aircraft, in the air, pushing the limits in classified test ranges. While China was still running wind tunnel models and early prototypes, American test pilots were logging hours in a true 6-gen platform. Air Force Chief of Staff, General David Alvin later confirmed it. Those explained demonstrators have flown hundreds of hours. Trialing next-gen concepts and proving technologies, China is only now beginning to test openly. That level of maturity is exactly why Boeing won. The F-47 design isn't a paper concept, it's a proven foundation. Dot now compare that to Beijing's path. Dot the J-th first public flight in December 2024 was visually impressive, big airframe, triple engine layout, dramatic presence. Dot but focus on what really matters. Dot it's still an early flight test. That prominent probe on the nose. A classic sign of basic flight test instrumentation, these jets are still gathering fundamental data, handling stability, performance envelopes, their demonstrators, not combat trade fighters. The US didn't just start earlier, it started smarter. Digital engineering completely reshaped the F-47 program. Using advanced virtual design tools, the Air Force estimates it shaved around 20% off both cost and schedule. Engineers could test, tweak, and refine in the digital world long before cutting a single piece of metal dot. But the real game changer, the F-47 isn't just a better fighter, it's a quarterback. Think about football. The quarterback doesn't win alone. He reads the field, calls the plays, and coordinates the entire offense. The F-47 does the same thing in the sky but, its teammates are AI-driven drones, carrying their own sensors, weapons, and electronic warfare suites. That's the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. Program America's not-so-secret, secret weapon. These aren't RC toys waiting for joystick inputs. They're autonomous platforms that can make tactical decisions within rules set by human commanders. They'll scout ahead. They'll jam enemy radars. They'll soak up incoming fire. They'll launch their own strikes. All while the F-47 pilot stays in the best possible position to survive and control the fight. The numbers are brutal. Anyone facing this system, the Air Force plans roughly 185 F-47s. Supporting them, over 1,000 autonomous drones. That's not just a fighter fleet. That's a distributed, networked strike ecosystem. Each F-47 effectively becomes the brain of a formation of five or six aircraft. So China doesn't just have to match 185 US jets. They have to deal with nearly 2,000 manned and unmanned platforms. Acting as a single, coordinated force. Beijing is absolutely trying to copy that idea. The J-36's unusual side-by-side -side cockpit layout almost certainly exists so that two crew members can manage loyal wingman and sensor fusion. Conceptually, it's similar, but concept is the easy part. Making that work in a real war against American electronic warfare, jamming, cyber defenses, and hardened networks is the hard part. And that's where the US has decades of experience. China simply doesn't. Now let's talk invisibility, not movie cloaking, combat invisibility. Fifth generation, Stealth F-2, 2, F-35 was revolutionary. These jets are extremely hard to detect, especially on standard fire control radars. But they're not perfectly invisible. Certain lower frequency radars, clever sensor networks, and passive detection systems can still sometimes pick them up. At least enough to know something's out there. 
6th Gen Stealth pushes that envelope further. The F47 is designed for broadband. I'll expect low observability hard to see across far more frequencies. From far more angles. Think advanced composites, structure integrated shaping, and radar absorbent materials that don't just scatter energy, but soak it in, convert it, and bleed it away. Ceramic based coatings are designed to survive sustained supersonic flight without burning off, while still keeping the jet ghost like on radar. But stealth today isn't just about radar. Infrared is just as deadly. Jet engines produce huge amounts of heat and modern IR sensors can track that glow from long distances. The F-47 is built to fight that too. Its exhaust and cooling architecture are carefully shaped to mask heat, spread it, and blend it into the background. The goal isn't no heat, that's impossible. It's nothing distinct enough to target. A ghost to radar and to heat-seekers.China clearly understands stealth theory. Those smooth, blended lines on the J-36 prototypes show they've studied the same physics. But understanding and mass-producing the right materials and coatings are completely different challenges. The U.S. has been refining that art since the F-117. In the 1980s over 40 years of trial, error, and improvement. China has done incredible things in only a couple of decades. But they're still sprinting along a trail the U.S. started paving generations ago. On top of that, maintenance matters. Old school stealth coatings are fragile and expensive. The F-47's next-gen ceramics are being designed from the start to be tougher more durable, and easier to maintain. That means more sorties, fewer downtime days, and higher readiness. Now let's zoom out to the theater that really matters. The Pacific distances. There are brutal. Taiwan is about 100 miles from mainland China. Guam sits roughly 1,500 miles further out. U.S. bases, carriers, and forward assets are spread across enormous ranges. Fighting over that geography demands range. Serious range. The F-47 is expected to have a combat radius north of 1,000 nautical miles over 1,100 to 1,200 regular miles without refueling. By comparison, F-22, approximately 460 miles, F-35, approximately 670 miles, the F-47, more than doubles what today's fighters can do. Why is that such a big deal? Because tankers are big, slow, and vulnerable. You can't drag them anywhere near advanced enemy air defenses. The further your fighters can go on their own tanks, the less you depend on those giant flying fuel targets. The J-36s, enormous airframe and triple engine layout strongly suggest that China is chasing a similar long-range concept. Big jet, big fuel load, big endurance, but three engines burn a lot of fuel. To make that worthwhile, you need extremely efficient power plants, and there's China's weak spot. Their indigenous engines, like the WS-10 family, have improved massively, but they're still struggling to match the efficiency and reliability of top-tier Western designs. Adaptive cycle engine. They're not there yet. The F-47, on the other hand, is tied into the next-generation adaptive propulsion program. These engines can literally change how they breathe mid-flight high bypass for efficient cruising, low bypass for raw thrust in combat. That translates directly into more range, more loiter time, and more options inside enemy airspace. Dot speed is the other piece of the puzzle. Dot Mach 2 sounds like a number on a spec sheet, but in combat, it means decisions happening at 1,500 mph. Dot at those speeds, reaction time vanishes. Engagements are over in seconds. The F-47 is expected to exceed Mach 2, with some experts hinting it may edge toward Mach 3 in certain profiles. Exact figures are classified. That kind of performance lets it reposition across entire theaters in under an hour, hit multiple targets in rapid succession, and create windows of surprise that enemies simply can't close fast enough. Speed gives you control over geometry. You decide when to close, when to stay away, when to appear, where the enemy doesn't expect you. In a world of long-range missiles and AI targeting, being the jet that chooses when and where to fight is everything. Asterisk, of course. None of this matters if you can't actually hit anything. The F-47 is being built to carry the full toolkit of modern warfare. Long-range air-to-air missiles for beyond visual range duels. Precision-guided bombs for high-value ground targets. Potential hypersonic weapons for time-critical strikes. And very likely the option to carry nuclear ordnance. Turning it into a true strategic acid internal weapon bays are designed to be modular swappable racks, mixed loads, tailored loadouts depending on the mission. One day it's running air superiority with a belly full of long-range missiles. The next, it's kicking down the door with standoff cruise weapons and drones. China's J-836 will also likely pack serious firepower. Its internal bays look big enough for a wide mix of missiles and bombs, but weapons are only as good as the system behind them, the sensors that find targets, the networks that feed data, the electronic warfare that protects the launch platform. MD, that's where the US has a gigantic lead. Now to the part most people never see industrial muscle and timelines bowing, isn't just designing the F-47. 
they're building it. The first production representative airframes are already in work. Real assemblies, real tooling, real manufacturing lines. First, flight is slated for 2028. Initial operational capability by 2029. Frontline service in the early 2030s. Those dates aren't fantasy because so much of the risk was burned down in those early secret X-plane flights. Meanwhile, China's J-36 went public in late 2024. From first flight to actual combat ready squadrons usually takes many years. Best case, you're looking at around 2034, an early operational capability. More realistically, mid-2030s before they have enough aircraft, trained crews, and support infrastructure. To matter at scale, that the J-50 is even further. Behind, some commentators claim China is three to four years ahead simply because their prototypes were shown off earlier. But that ignores the classified work the U.S. has been doing since 2020. Confuses public footage with program. Maturity. The F-47 is closer to real-world deployment if you don't see it on the news every week. Dot, and don't underestimate experience. The United States has been building world-class fighters for nearly 80 years. P-47. Thunderbolts in World War II, F-86 Sabres in Korea F-15s and F-16s during the Cold War. F-22 and F-35 in the fifth-generation Earreach program built on the last Every mistake turned into a lesson. Every success turned into doctrine and design. No dash how dot that deep. Institutional memory matters. American aerospace firms have spent decades solving problems. China is just now encountering engine lifespans. Stealth repair. Complex avionics. Integration. High rate production of very advanced designs. None of this takes away from what China has achieved. Done in 20 years. What took other nations much longer. But there's still a difference between catching up and surpassing. There's also, the alliance advantage. The US does not operate in a vacuum. Allies like the UK, Australia, Japan, and others contribute research, requirements, technology, and operational insight. Combat data from Allied F 35 fleets. Shared R&D on sensors in EW. Joint exercises at test real world tactics. That entire ecosystem feeds into programs like the F 47. Building one impressive prototype is hard. Building hundreds of operational fighters, integrating them into a multinational network, and sustaining them for decades, that's another level. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman know how to do that. They've done it for generations. China can and will scale up its own production. But six-gen fighters are orders of magnitude more complex than anything that came before. Yes, the F-47 will be insanely expensive, likely north of $300 million per jet. But the U.S. defense budget, industrial base, and political system are structured to support that kind of investment. China, on the other hand, has to divide its resources across a rapidly growing navy, a modernizing army, space programs, hypersonic weapons, and major internal security demands, asterisk, the J-36 and J-50 are competing with all of that. The race for sixth-generation dominance isn't over, but the starting positions are not equal. On America's side, more mature technology, earlier deployment timelines, stealth and sensor advantages, a massive drone ecosystem, deep industrial experience, and a network of powerful allies. China's prototypes are impressive, but impressive is not the same as decisive. Not yet. Maybe not for a long time. The United States Air Force has guarded American skies since 1947 decades of non-stop operations, constant innovation, and a relentless drive for air superiority. The F-47 is the next link in that chain. It isn't just another jet. It's the centerpiece of a whole new way of fighting in the air. One where a single human pilot commands a swarm of intelligent aircraft, plugged into a global network of sensors and shooters. The next chapter of air combat is being written right now. And for the moment, that chapter still belongs to America. If this breakdown helped you see the bigger picture of where fighter technology is heading, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dive defense analysis. And tell me in the comments, F-47 versus China's J-36, J-50. Who do you think owns the future sky?